I've spent over a decade making espresso martinis and also won back-to-back -back world championships making coffee cocktails. After that, I spent an entire month deep diving into every aspect of the espresso martini. And this, my friends, is my ultimate espresso martini recipe. Let's make some coffee cocktails. Welcome back to the Coffee Cocktail Channel with me, Dan Fellows. Today I'm going to share with you my ultimate espresso martini recipe. This is super flexible, so you can really play around with it, but the template is really foolproof. This recipe is based on a much longer, more detailed video, which I'll link above, which goes into all the details of this. But today I'm going to start by sharing with you the recipe. So without further ado, we're going to need espresso or really strong filter coffee. And this is the backbone of the drink, so you want to make sure it's really super delicious and it's a coffee you love. We're going to need our spirit or spirits. Traditionally, this would be a vodka, but I'm going with white rum and vodka blended together. And I'd recommend getting this straight in the freezer so that it's nice and cold when you make the cocktail. A sweetener of your choice, you can go with all different sugars, different honeys, different syrups, but I'm going with something called coffee saccharum. And then we're going to want some saline solution, which is optional, but highly recommended. We're going to want a really nice coupe glass, which I'd recommend freezing. You're going to want plenty of good quality ice. And then equipment wise, we're going to want a cocktail shaker, a strainer and a fine strainer. But if you don't have this, you can use a jar or some kind of flask and then a sip. So the first thing we're going to add to our shaker is 40 grams of espresso. And every good espresso martini starts with great espresso, obviously. So you want to take real care to make the espresso in here super delicious and one you love. So I'm going for a coffee from Has Been, which has got kind of chocolate notes, some kind of citrus in there, kind of orangey. And this is going to be the basis of our espresso martini. One guide I would give, regardless of what brew method you use, espresso, even an AeroPress or something like a Wakako Pico Presso, you want to use between 18 and 20 grams of coffee to make a 40 gram yield. And that's what we've got in here. So that's going to be the starting point to our espresso martini. Next up, we're going to grab our spirits from the freezer. So spirits. A traditional espresso martini would be straight vodka, but I quite like to blend spirits. So we're going to start with 20 mils of vodka and you can pretty much use any spirit in an espresso martini. They pretty much all work, but you've got to tie it in with the coffee to make sure that they complement one another. And the number one rule when it comes to your spirits in here, actually there are two rules, freeze them to counteract the hot espresso to make sure it's nice and cool and we don't get too much dilution when we shake the drink. And pretty much whatever spirit you use, you want to add 40 mils at 40% ABV. So if you're using a higher proof spirit, you want to bring this down slightly, or if you're using something a little bit lower or cutting in a liqueur, then you want to bring it up slightly. But 40 grams, 40 mils, 40%, can't go wrong. And then now we've got our spirits, we're going to add our sweetener. So the rule here is 10 grams of sugar. So this could be 20 mils of a one-to-one -one simple syrup, you could use muscovado sugar, castor sugar, white sugar, brown sugar, coconut sugar, whatever. It could be 15 mils of a two to one sugar syrup, like a monin syrup or a flavored syrup or a two to one sugar syrup. You could use honey, or even if you use a liqueur, then you wanna add this and consider it part of your sugar allocation. And 10 grams per drink is pretty much universally loved. A little bit less if people like really strong coffee, a little bit more if they have a sweet tooth, but 10 grams is a real sweet spot pun partially intended. So they're all options, but I'm going for 20 mils of coffee saccharum. And I'll link this at the end of the video, how to make this, but essentially it's a zero waste coffee puck syrup made with the spent espresso pucks from making the espresso martini. Very cool. And I'll link that at the end of the video. So again, 20 mils of this because it ends up being around about a one to one sugar syrup. So 10 grams of sugar per a golden rule. And then, the final liquid ingredient, which is optional, I guess, but strongly recommended, is one gram of saline solution. So if you've never used saline solution in cocktails before, I'd strongly recommend it. And the goal of this isn't to make your drink salty, it's just to bring out all of the amazing flavors that are already there. So across all of these ingredients, you can pretty much explore different styles of spirit, coffee, sweetener, whatever but you wanna make sure you get a really harmonious taste in the final drink. So let's start shaking. Whew. So 
As you can see, our shaker is really nice and cool. It's got that frost coming on the outside. And this actually happened quite quickly. And the reason for that is I used ice fresh out of the freezer. You never want to use really watery ice or anything that started melting because that's going to really add to the dilution of the drink. In my testing, I found around about 25 to 30% dilution to be about right. But lots of ice, good shake, should yield just about that. So this whole recipe is inspired by the creator of the espresso martini, Dick Bradsell, and his daughter B, who kindly passed on the story of the espresso martini. This is very much a homage to his original recipe. So you want to get that really nice, foamy, silky texture. A good espresso martini should kind of feel like a cappuccino in the mouth, obviously iced and much more boozy. But you want to get that really nice, silky, creamy texture, despite there being no cream or silk in our espresso martini. And I'll remind you of the recipe when I've had a sip. That is very delicious. So we've got 40 grams of really good quality espresso that you love. You can also use strong filter coffee, 40 mils of your spirit at 40% ABV. This is gonna be white rum and potato vodka, but the world is your oyster when it comes to your spirits. 10 grams of sugar in the form of 20 mils of coffee saccharum, which is a one-to-one -one sugar syrup. One gram of our saline solution, which is one part salt to five parts water. Shake it like you hate it, chill everything down, drink at your leisure and enjoy. So I really hope you give this a go. I'd strongly recommend you do. It's a really adaptable template. And if you found value in this video, which I hope you have, make sure you check out the links below. There's a link to my Patreon page, which allows me to keep making videos like this. And if you found value, make sure you subscribe to the channel for lots more coffee cocktail fun. So I'll also link here, the video on how to make coffee saccharum, and below for lots more coffee cocktail recipes and espresso martini joy. So thank you very much for watching. Cheers.